What up? This is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Netflix movie Tragic Jungle. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, ring that bell, so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you would like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. Tragic Jungle actually previously premiered at Venice Film Festival last year, so it's not what you would consider a brand new film. Meaning there have been a lot of reviews already written about it, so I'm simply just adding my two cents into the pot. And if you're confused by what you saw in the recently released trailer, trust me, you're not the only one. The film itself can get even more perplexing at times, so brace yourselves. I think for all the aesthetic, dreamscape, atmospheric feel that director Yulin Olaizola wanted to create, and to a certain extent she accomplished that, Tragic Jungle also often gets lost in its own journey, where it doesn't move along as fast as we know it could. But do I like this movie? Hell yeah I do. Written by Yulin Olaizola and Ruben Imaz and directed by Yulin Olaizola, Tragic Jungle is set in 1920 on the border between Mexico and Belize, deep in the Mayan jungle, a lawless territory where myths abound. A group of Mexican gum workers cross paths with Agnes, a mysterious Belizean woman. Her presence incites tension among the men, arousing their fantasies and desires, Filled with new vigor, they face their destiny without knowing that they have woken up Xetabai, an urban legend being that lurks in the heart of the jungle. Starring Indira Andrewin. I think Tragic Jungle is one of those movies that deserves a second or third viewing in order for you to pick things up and fully wrap your head around it. In its essence, the story speaks about colonialism and the exploitations of nature. There's lots of symbolism going around. I'd like to believe that Yulin takes some inspiration from Terence Malick. That poetic narrative with deeper hidden meanings. So if you are Terence Malick fans, you will feel at home watching Tragic Jungle. The cinematography is marvelous and hypnotic. I would love to see the behind the scenes footage because man, shooting in such dense, thick environment or logistics must have been a production nightmare. I guess the only thing that irks me is that the character that Indira plays, Agnes, barely speaks the entire movie. But I guess it goes with the whole mysticism surrounding her. You see, the men that she encounters and ends up traveling with have been in that forest amongst themselves without the company of a woman for a very long time. So Tragic Jungle also toys with carnal weaknesses and sexual temptations. Whether or not Agnes is this Satabai figure that the men suspect her to be, she becomes like a lethal Venus flytrap. It's as if the forest is fighting back against them through her. But that injection of horror is done in a very measured and deliberate manner. So Tragic Jungle is a slow, slow burn. But if you stick it out, I think you'll find it to be surprisingly mesmerizing. 